This week's Times West Virginian Game of the Week features the East Fairmont Bees hosting the Fairmont Senior Polar Bears. Starting pitcher for East Fairmont was Jacob Bolander, and for Fairmont Senior was Ryan Valentine. In the first inning, Fairmont Senior's Nick Davison would get on base with a walk and later steal second and third. Davison would be knocked home after Jace Riley would ground out to shortstop. East Fairmont's E.J. Trickett would start off the Bees with a triple, and David McQuain would send Trickett home with an RBI single. An RBI double from East Fairmont's Bo Lander would put the Bees up 2-1 to one after the first. In the third, Fairmont Sr. would capitalize on East Fairmont mistakes. With two runners on base, Valentine would score both with a double to center. After two East Fairmont errors and Bolander walking two batters with a runner scoring, a single from Austin Kuhn would score two more for Fairmont Sr. Trevor Duvall would hit two more in. In the bottom of the third, East Fairmont's Cam Stewart would drive one run in, making the score 8-3 to three, going into the fourth. Fairmont Sr. would continue to hit and score. Shea Fitch would give the Polar Bears an 11-3 lead with the hit past a diving center fielder. East Fairmont's McQuain would hit one up the third baseline, scoring two. 11-5, Fairmont Sr. after four. After Fairmont Sr. would score one in the fifth, in the sixth, East Fairmont would climb within two of the Polar Bears. After East Fairmont's McQuain would hit an RBI double and trick it scoring on a passed ball, Dalton Michael would hit a three-run home run making it 10-12 to 12 going into the 7th. Fairmont Sr. would add another run to the board in the 7th, but East Fairmont would tie the game. First, a line drive from Trickett would bounce off the pitcher's foot, making him safe at first. Trickett would later score after a fielder's choice. With two on base, Dalton Michael would hit the ball to left, scoring both. After an overthrow at second, he would run to third, and with another overthrow, Michael would head home, hoping for the winning run but he would be tagged out 13-13 to after 7. In extra innings, both teams would go scoreless in the 8th. In the bottom of the ninth, tied at 13, Sam Swagger would run out the throw from shortstop and later be bunted over to 2nd. With one out, East McQuain would strike out, but Swagger would steal 3rd. With a runner on 3rd and 2 outs, Fairmont Sr. would intentionally walk the next two batters, bringing Bolander up to the plate with bases loaded. After two strikes and one ball, Bolander would take a swing and single to center, scoring Swagger and winning the game 14-13. to For more stats, check out timeswv.com. This feature has been the Times West Virginian Game of the Week.